Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to discuss about the concept of fragmentation and its type. So, starting with the fragmentation concept, let me define what exactly it is. So, fragmentation is basically a term where we say that there are free blocks of memory which are very small to satisfy any kind of request. Okay. So, if you see the different type of fragmentation, we can have two different types. First one being external fragmentation and second one is internal fragmentation. So, the external fragmentation is the wastage of memory between the partitions. And because these memory uh, are scattered in the number of discontinuous areas, we call it as external fragmentation. Okay. Second one is the internal fragmentation, which is the memory in the internal partition. Okay, that means it is the difference in the size between the memory allocated and memory required. I hope you people are okay with the definition of the fragmentation, external fragmentation and internal fragmentation. Now to get the precise idea of how external fragmentation and internal fragmentation look like, let us have an example. So here I am explaining the concept of internal fragmentation. Okay, so before explaining the example, let me tell you here the free memory space, we are calling it as whole. Okay, and here I am taking three processes P1, P2 and P3 and we are assuming that process P1 and P2 requested for the memory space and they got the required memory space and when process P3 requires certain memory space let us imagine that there is a 100 byte memory space available and P3 requires 96 bytes of the memory and when the operating system is going to allocate 96 bytes of memory requested by process p3 we are remaining with a whole of four bytes which is left over whole means it is the free memory space left over okay so this leftover memory is known as internal fragmentation so i hope you are okay with the concept of internal fragmentation let us see what exactly is external fragmentation so the external fragmentation is nothing but the free space which is scattered in the discontinuous area. We call it as external fragmentation. Now to understand the concept of external fragmentation, here I have taken an example where there is a process P4 which got certain memory space and process P2. Okay, now if you see here in two places we are having free memory space available. Here we are having 1 MB of free memory space and here we are having 10 MB free memory space. Okay, now because this total 11 MB free memory space though it is available we cannot allocate it to some other process since these memory spaces are scattered. Okay, so when I am saying we are not able to allocate this memory space so here I am imagining that there is certain process X which requires 11 MB of free memory space. Though 11 MB is available like 10 MB is here and 1 MB is here. But we cannot allocate this one since all the free memory space is not contiguous and it is scattered in the discontiguous areas. Okay, so I hope you are okay with the concept of internal fragmentation and external fragmentation. Now, let us see what can be the possible solutions for the problem of fragmentation. So, we can have the possible solutions for the fragmentation in the form of compaction, paging and segmentation. So, compaction is basically a technique where we are going to combine all the free spaces together in the large block okay second is paging paging is a concept which is going to allocate memory in equal sized blocks and these equal sized blocks are known as pages which can be in the non-contiguous forms okay then comes the 
third one is segments okay so these segments are once again the memory management scheme which is supporting the users view of memory so these three concepts or these three uh, uh, concepts can be the possible solution for the problem of fragmentation so hope that you people are uh, are okay with the concept of fragmentation and you understood the concept of external and internal fragmentations thank you for watching this video